Hi guys, um, this is one of two videos that I'm doing, um, I'm basically going to call it How To Be Emo in homage to uh, Ryan Heger because he's awesome. Start with a primer, I'm going to use Urban Decay's Primer Potion and you just stick that on your eyes. Taking this amazing uh, palette, which is one of my favourites at the moment, it's this Quad by Sugar, Sugar Pill. I'm starting off just by pressing a little bit of uh, this purple colour, which is Poison Plum. Boom. That's amazing, isn't it? Beautiful. Yeah, and then I've managed to press quite a lot of that. On, into the eyelid and now I'm going to swap for my Benefit Fluff Shadow Brush which looks like that and I'm going to load it up with some more of the purple colour because it, it will deepen the colour so now I'm going to take a crease brush where is my crease brush? Okay, so crease brush, small thing like that. And I'm loading it up with the black, which is called Bulletproof, and it is matte black, quite a nice deep dark one with lots of lots of pigment. I'm gonna take that and go all throughout my my crease. And the look we're going for is basically um, black. Um, when the eyes shut, you'll be able to see the purple, but when it's open, you'll only see black. I'm taking this brush, this brush, it's a blending brush, and I'm just gonna go over the black and just blend it. And I'm just gonna add a little bit more black because that's starting to lose its depth. The next thing is gonna be to take some white, and again, you can use. If you've got one of these palettes, it's awesome because you can use the white from here. It's really nice, really pigmented, really light white. Really white white. Um, always keep a bit of white in the, in the corners of your eyes because it will open them up a bit. And you're going to take a flat liner brush, put that in the bulletproof colour or the black colour again, and then drag it, not drag it, more kind of uh, press it into the lash line. Okay, now I'm taking that same liner brush and that same liner colour and going underneath the lash line, taking care to avoid the waterline and just pull it down a little bit just to blend it. Um, now the eyes are very, very black looking. Good thing to do is to take a white or a yellow, like pale yellow eyeliner and just there we go, and that's opened up the eyes a little bit, so when you're looking up at the camera, go, ooh. It's a great face. Isn't it? <laughs> you put some mascara on. Make sure to include your bottom lashes. That's the mascara on. And now I'm taking these Girls Aloud Festival lashes that are 99p in savers at the moment. Um, I would normally say that these wouldn't go because they've got uh, red bits in them. However, so normally I wouldn't because I've got purple, so you know you'd want something that would match. But I have red hair, so red eyelashes kind of matches. That's pretty much the eyes done, so I'm just going to do the foundation. I'm using L'Oreal Infallible in porcelain, and I know this looks silly right now. Trust me, I'm not doing white face, I'm just doing um, pale. I'm just blending it in now with this e.l.f. powder brush. Part of the reason for doing it so pale is to 
make the darker colours and the brighter colours on the eyes stand out a bit more. So I'm basically going to start with the highlights, I think. This is Elf Natural Radiance Blusher in Innocence, which is a very, very pale pink. And I'm going to take my faithful Elf Studio blush brush, and I'm basically going to apply this um, in the centre of the forehead, and the centre of the nose. And I'm taking this uh, Cynthia Rowley for Avon blush, which looks like it's in peony pink. I've had this for ages, I really like using it. And then just the tiniest little bit of this, uh, and I'm going to use stippling brush for this. Scarlet and Crimson blush powder or powder blush, whatever it's called. Okay, now I'm taking some Collection 2000 Dazzle Me uh, powder, it's like the eye dust stuff. And finally, sorry, I'm going a bit mad on the blush here. I think it's because I realised that I'd overdone it a little bit with the, with the pinky colours and I wanted to calm it down a little bit. So this last one that I'm using is called Magical and it's like a white, goldy, silvery, sort of shimmery colour. I'm going to go for a very dark brown colour. A lot of the time emo eyebrows are like black, painted in black. The last thing I'm going to do with my eyebrows is just take some, um, this is e.l.f. Eyebrow Treat and Tame. It's in ash, so it's a slightly different colour to what I've just shaded them in. Now, the final step in this little emo transformation is the lips. So, I'm going to basically do a nude lip. Okay, this is Pink Sizzle Avon Pro To Go Lipstick. It smells a little bit like watermelon. There's a lot of the uh, Harajuku kind of anime influence on these kind of um, emo looks. There's a, a big fascination with the whole uh, small mouth, big eyes kind of thing. So I don't even know if it's a conscious thing for them, but. Um, It's definitely there. I mean, I I know because I, I suppose I do flirt with emo emo a little a little bit. I don't have any tissue paper. I'm blotting my lips with a cotton bud. Gloss is absolutely fine. I'm right now using um, Elf Hyper Shine Gloss, and the colour is Fairy. It smells kind of nice. A little bit like Tia Maria actually. So yeah, there we go, pale lips, big eyes. Cheeky cat sneaking out the bedroom. Okay, um, that's it for the makeup, I think. Uh, the last thing is gonna be sorting out the hair. So, um, I'm basically gonna do the hair in another video, so if you switch over to that one, then you can see how to do the hair for an emo look. Thank you for watching. If you didn't, if you're not going to watch the hair thing, then thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. And um, if you have any plans to be emo at any time soon, I hope that this <laughs> this has helped. Uh, take care, TTFN.